If you ever have to change your temperature sensor, this is basically how it's installed, how it works. Um, so you've got, first of all, depending on what spa you have, you may not have this set up. It, yours might be plumbed in, but this is for people ha who have it in the equipment area. So usually you have your circulation pump and this guy is in front of it, but from your view, that's your view, basically, it's behind the pump. You can't really see it until you really look hard. Um, they also used to put it behind your pump on your right side, your big jet pump. They tucked it in the far back corner to where you pretty much can't even access it. So hopefully you don't have that situation. If you do, you're probably going to have to drain the spa in order to change it because you might have to pull your jet pump out. But for people with the situation where it's in front of their circulation pump, you can do it with water in the spa. So this is basically how it works. There is a rubber plug that is pressure fitted basically. This goes in there and when you screw this down it squeezes the sensor. And since it's rubber it doesn't like to get, doesn't like to let you push this in easily or screw it in to the fitting easily. So usually what we do is we get some soap water and put it on there, slide that guy in there. So it's going to be flush with the plug. Um, and this is if you're replacing the whole new one, but I'll show you how to replace it once this is all together, the easy way. Um, but it's probably going to have a little piece of silicone right there. And that is there to make sure the sensor doesn't catch any of the heat from the surrounding components. So, get a little of uh, this on here. Screw that sucker in there. Since it's rubber, it does not like to go into this fitting very easily. So I'm just going to leave it there because, but normally it goes all the way down, but it's useless because I probably won't be able to get it out if I do that. So what you want to do when you need to replace this is it's challenging, but it's doable. You want to hold this rubber plug down onto this fitting and just grab this and pull it straight up. If you, you could grab this with some needle nose pliers, it'll make it easier. It is in a tough to get to spot, which makes it annoying, but I've done it multiple times, so it's definitely possible. Uh, what you also could do to make it easier is if you can't get a couple of zip ties, you can basically cross them over this. So, you know, this way and this way. <laughs> that, I just blocked it. So basically put a zip tie here and a zip tie here so it holds this plug down so that you don't have to hold it as much. It's going to hold it down for you and then you can get more leverage on the sensor pulling the sensor out. So that's pretty much how it works and how to do it. So when you pull it out, if there's water in the tub, water will shoot out but you could just get it out, stick your finger over there temporarily, have your extra one ready with soapy water on it and then it, it'll slide right back down there really simply.